Well, the federal judge in Florida struck down the Biden administration's mass mandate for airplanes and public transit on Monday. Today, we're getting reaction from travelers and local doctors about the ruling. CBS 42 News reporter Jake Chapman, live at Birmingham Shuttleworth International Airport. So, Jake, understand you're finding mixed reactions about that ruling. You're right, Art, because passengers are pretty thrilled about it, but experts are ruling on the side of caution right now, especially with some parts of the United States, even the world, seeing another spike in COVID-19 cases, which is why they wish the mask mandate stayed in place for at least a couple of more weeks. Now, Dr. Michael Sag of UAB has been on the front lines of the pandemic for some time, and he tells me he isn't thrilled the courts got involved, and he wishes the decision to end the mandate was backed by science, not a legal technicality in his words. He said not only have masks worked in COVID prevention, but they've also helped limit the spread of other disease like the common cold during the past few years. And he believes when it comes to public health, experts should have the final say in order to protect lives. Public health officials and that state health department officials as well as federal officials should have the ability to place mandates in, in place when a threat is perceived for the public. We did get a release from the Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority stating masks are optional, but they highly encourage passengers, passengers, operators, and employees to continue to wear them. Now, passengers here at the Birmingham airport have enjoyed not wearing masks, but we've also seen our fair share of people here as well still wearing masks even with the mandate ending. And while the airport authority is happy to see the mandate lifted, they did tell me, quote, if COVID does get bad again, they will put public safety measures in place to protect the workers and passengers. We're in Birmingham. Jake Chapman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.